This is Salisbury Fire Department's Training Minutes. David Haynes, Training Captain for the Salisbury Fire Department. We're continuing on with our hydraulic series of Training Minutes videos, uh, building on what we've done before. In the previous Training Minutes videos, we discussed calculating our pump discharge pressure for any given situation, whether it was an attack engine, supply, or relay engine. And what we used in those examples that we were doing, we calculated our friction loss for any given situation using a given gallon per minute flow. And if you'll remember, when we try to calculate our friction loss, we always want to account for the flow, the size, and the length. And in most of those examples, we discussed calculating the friction loss with a given gallon per minute. What we did not discuss was how did we get to that gallon per minute flow. So today's topic is going to be estimating or determining your gallon per minute flow. Uh, there's several different methods. The first uh, method you'll see here on the board is a formula. And if you're taking a pumps class, you saw this somewhere in class. And that will give you the gallon per minute using a fixed constant number times the diameter squared of a given opening or nozzle size and then the square root of a nozzle pressure. So, 2 o'clock in the morning on the fire ground, this is not necessarily something that I would use. However, thankfully, that stuff has been calculated for us already and put in the form of a pumps chart. So for our solid stream nozzles, nozzle pressure down the side, tip size across for your solid stream opening, and then uh, find the tube and you can come up with the flow that you're pushing on the fire ground. Uh, important that you know your nozzles, especially your master streams, your solid streams, your hand lines with the solid stream, to know what you're flowing at the rated nozzle pressure. So at 50 pounds or 80 pounds, those solid stream nozzles, what you can expect for a flow from them. And we'll revi revisit this here in just a moment. But a pump chart is a, is a pretty good method if you have those. Uh, some departments have those and they've pre-planned their engines so they know that a given size hose line, given length of hose, they know what to expect in gallon per minute flow at a certain nozzle pressure and they are, are pump discharge pressure. So they set that up, they put it on a chart, they pre-plan it, they put it in the pump panel somewhere or in the engineer's compartment where it's easily accessible. So if your department uses pump charts, uh, use those. And again, they're, they're great to, to get you to what you're trying to flow. Uh, nowhere is this more important having that gallon per minute flow than on the attack engine because our goal as pump operators is, is this number is important. We want to be accurate. We want to calculate this number accurately, come up with the correct pump discharge pressure and account for all of the elements to do that. But we have to understand that this is just a tool to get us to the gallon per minute flow. So we want to be accurate here but understand that the important part of that equation is the gallon per minute we're pushing at the end. So pumps charts, certainly a good method to uh, come up with that. Another good method is uh, my top method. If I have an engine that is equipped with flow meters, uh, that is a most accurate in real time. I can see exactly what I'm flowing on any given discharge, especially if the engine has the flow meters on all the discharges. So that would be my wish list if somebody gave me a blank check and a blank slate and said design your favorite fire engine, that would be the first thing, flow meters on every discharge. And again, real time, I can see what I'm flowing, uh, I can see the changes and balance, the need to have a reasonable pressure with an adequate gallon per minute, and I can see what's going on with that, and see exactly what I'm moving in water wise. And then if I'm the attack engine, I have an accurate number to tell the other driver operators in a relay or a supply engine that are supplying my engine tell them exactly the amount of water I'm moving. So flow meters, another great device. So pumps charts, flow meters. Uh, another method that I use, uh, more of a user-friendly uh, on the fire ground method, is, uh, is use the hose size. And I'll do a quick little field estimation to figure out what I'm flowing. So on our engines, we have inch and three quarter and two and a half inch attack lines. But uh, inch and a half or two inch are in there as well if your department uses those. What I do is basically take the hose size and then translate that in inches to a decimal. So inch and a half would become 1.50, inch and three quarter, 
2.75, 2 inch, 2.0, and then the 2.5, 2.50. And then for the estimation for the flow, at each of those I would just take that decimal out. So an inch and a half hand line, I can roughly estimate 150 gallons a minute. Inch and three quarter, 175 gallons a minute. Two inch, 200 gallons a minute, or just over. Two and a half inch, 250 gallons a minute. And this plays well with our engines and the nozzles that we have in Salisbury. Our inch and three quarter hand lines, the fog nozzle at 100 pounds is rated to flow 175 gallons a minute. Our solid stream nozzles on our inch and three quarter hand lines are 15 16 tips. At 50 pounds, they would give us 185 gallons a minute. So we're, we're right there. And then our two and a half inch hand line has a solid stream nozzle at 50 pounds with an inch and one eighth tip. That will give us 266 gallons a minute. So we're right there at the ballpark. And then the fog attachment for that nozzle, if we take off the stack tip and put the fog on there, at 100 pounds is rated at 250 gallons a minute. So that estimation method for us works, works really well. So at 2 o'clock in the morning, if I see, if I'm supplying another engine and I look forward and see that they have their two and a half inch off or their inch and three quarter, I can guesstimate quickly what they're, what they're flowing. So there, there's one method. Another method that we'll talk about is the rule of eights method. And this is using your solid stream, master streams that you have. Uh, in Salisbury, these are the tip sizes we have, the top three are on our portable small monitor, our mini monitor. And they are one inch, inch and one eighth, and inch and a quarter. And then the other four are on our deck guns on our engines and the solid stream nozzles on the master streams on the ladder pipe. So inch and three eighths, inch and a half, inch and three quarter, and two inch. And the rule of eights, what we do is we take that tip size and then the fraction part of it we make it eight. So we'll use inch and one eighth as an example. Inch and one eighth tip, the fraction part of that is one over eight. I don't have to convert that to an eighth, it's already there, eight's in the fraction. And we add two to the top number. So one plus two will give me three. And that would tell me that that inch and one eighth tip at 80 pounds, it's rated nozzle pressure on the master stream should give me 300 gallons a minute. And if we come down here to inch and a quarter tip, you'll see that that is not an eight, but we're going to convert it to an eight. So we take inch and a quarter, we convert the one quarter to eight, which will be two eight, two over eight. And then we add two to that top number, will give me four. So that would tell me that that inch and one quarter tip with 80 pounds applied to it as a master stream would give me approximately 400 gallons a minute. And then as we work right on down the line, inch and three eighths, inch and a half, inch and three quarter, and two inch, you can see that the gallon per minute flow, what that would be. So our inch and three eighths, three eighths is already an eighth, three plus two. That top number will give me five, 500 gallons a minute. The inch and one half, to make one half eights will be four over eight. So four plus two will be six, 600 gallons a minute. The three quarter, inch and three quarter tip, three over four to make that eight will be six over eight. So six plus two will be eight or 800 gallons a minute. And then the last one down here, the two inch tip, it's a nice whole number, no fraction involved, but we can view that as eight over eight, and then two to that top number would give me 10, or 1,000 gallons a minute. And then the one I didn't do on there, if you'll notice at the top, is the one inch tip. But we'll refer to our pulse chart here. That one's a little hard to convert to a fraction and make an eight because you already do it with the two inch tip. And eight of eight, you can't really do that with the one inch tip. So coming down the line of our master stream at 80 pounds and find the corresponding tip size, the one inch tip uh, at 80 pounds is going to give us 266 gallons a minute. 
So we put that up there. If you were to estimate 250, just as a starting point, uh, that's fairly easy to remember. And then if you follow the tip sizes all the way across, our portable monitor, the mini monitor, will be 250, 300, and 400 gallons a minute that we would estimate. The tip size is correspondingly here, 266, 336 gallons a minute, and 415 gallons a minute. So we're right in the ballpark with that estimation. On the, the deck guns with the larger tips, inch and three eighths, 502 gallons a minute. So you see 500 there. Uh, inch and a half, 598. So you see 600. The inch and three quarter is uh, 814. And you see 800 in our estimation. And then the two inch tip, 1,063. So you see 1,000 gallons a minute. So our estimation is pretty much on point with what those, uh, what they're delivering. And then the ease of this, if you view your attack lines that we had up here a few moments ago, all of those lines your initial lines are 200 or less gallons per minute. Your blitz line, your two and a half, is going to give you 250 gallons a minute. And then your next step up from there is your portable monitor. And then that is your initial tip size. Fairly easy to remember, 250 gallons a minute. And then from your portable monitor, you go up to the 500 gallon a minute mark in your deck gun. Uh, if we were viewing these as fog nozzles and where they would fall with their rated nozzle pressure at 100 pounds, the mini monitor fog nozzle will give you up to 500 gallons a minute. That's what it's rated for. And then most deck guns, if you have a fog nozzle attached to that, they start at 1,000 gallons a minute. So estimating your flow based on your hand line size, coming up with a number, and then being able to use the rule of eights to get the master stream flow based on your tip size, or just knowing your apparatus, knowing the nozzles that are on there and what they would deliver at their rated nozzle pressure. And those are all methods that we can use to guesstimate or determine our gallon per minute flow, and then we can take that number and use that to calculate the friction loss in any given line. That's today's training minute. Thank you. Thank you for watching Salisbury Fire Department's training minutes.